Referencing the current reality which sees an estimated 40 to 60,000 Venezuelans coming to this country, Central Bank Governor Dr. Alvin Hale says their research thus far suggests there's a significant impact on the economy. Has estimated that the, the fiscal cost could be on the order of about 620 million TT dollars per year. This is substantial. Initially, I doubted them. I said, no, 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 this can't be. But when I looked at other countries, I looked at Colombia in particular, and they estimated that it would, be, it would cost them about 0.4% of their GDP. At a time when there are mixed views about the government's acceptance of Venezuelan immigrants to live and work in this country for a one-year period, Dr. Halle outlined some of the benefits attached to having a migrant population. Humans move and they bring something with them. What do they bring? They bring their skills, they bring their approach to things, they could affect the, the, the labor market and so forth. So there could be potentially very large benefits over time. Taxation, they would contribute to taxes and so forth, but not in the immediate, in the immediate run. Earlier this week, National Security Minister Stuart Young dispelled rumors that government had accepted funds from any international body with respect to the Venezuelan situation. This after there were claims that government had accepted money from the United States Agency for International Development. Janine Brown, TTT News.